What's up, everyone? What's going on? Justin here. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Whatever you celebrate, Hanukkah's over, but happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. So this new holiday-themed holiday video, my top 10, it's a new countdown, my top 10 holiday and horror, horror holiday movies. Top 10. Uh, I don't got that many uh, horror movies um, in the top 10, but a few. Anyways, let's start it off. My top 10 holiday and uh, holiday horror movies countdown. Number 10, 1988. It was a remake, but uh, it was... A different type of story, kind of. So, uh, 1988 remake of the classic Scrooge, but it was in 1988. Bill Murray was a star of it. Scrooged. Came out uh, November 23rd, 1988. Again, it was great. I thought it was a great movie. Great holiday movie. Uh, not very uh, happy. If you want to watch a ho happy holiday film, this is not really happy, I don't believe. I haven't seen it in a couple years, but uh, it's really good. Really, really fucking good. Scrooged. 1988 with Bill Murray is number 10. Bill Murray, by the way, I got to put him over. Holy fuck, the guy's a comedy genius, a national treasure. To me, he's a comedy hero of mine. The guy was great on the original Saturday Night Live. He didn't he wasn't on Saturday Night Live the first year, but he was there the second year, third, fourth, fifth year. I think he was there four years. He was great on Saturday Night Live. He was great in the movie Stripes. He was great in Caddyshack. Great in Ghostbusters. Great in Groundhog Day. He was great in What About Bob. Comedy genius, Bill Murray. So the box office. I'm going to give you some of the box office numbers for some of these holiday movies. And horror. Scrooged in 1988 had a budget of uh, 32 million. That's hard to believe. They uh, spent that much in the 80s on movies. It costed 32 million, but it made at the box office. Scrooged made a hundred million. A hundred point three million. That's a lot of fucking money. So it made a big profit. It was a big success. And again, I think it's a great movie. Great holiday movie. Number 10, 1988, Scrooged. Number 9, I did have a holiday horror movie, but I took it out and I'll mention it and I put a different one in there. Number 9, Black Christmas. Black Christmas, 1975, I believe it came out. I'm going to look it up here, the year it came out. 1974, Black Christmas. So it came out in 74. Let's get to the box office numbers. Again, really good horror movie. Kind of the start of uh, the slasher movies. It was before Halloween. Before Michael Myers was even a thing, before Halloween, you had Black Christmas where you got, like, the killer's uh, vision. It was like the camera was right uh, behind the killer following him. So that is really innovative. Also, what's weird, not weird, but funny about uh, Black Christmas... The director and the producer, actually, the guy had a ton of success directing non-horror movies. 
movies that were really big that were not horror. He directed Porky's. I think Porky's 1 and 2. He directed... Um, God, what else? Uh, Christmas Story. He directed A Christmas Story. So uh, Bob Clark directed Black Christmas, also Porky's, and A Christmas Story. So the guy was a fucking genius. Great director and producer, Bob Clark. And it was a slasher. And originally, Black Christmas, original title was Silent Night, Evil Night. That was not the title. The, the final title was Black Christmas. Great title for a holiday horror movie. Had a great fucking poster also. My God, it had a great poster. Look at this. Well, just what a great movie poster. If this picture doesn't make your skin crawl, it's on too tight. Look at this damn poster. Look at that. Legendary. Epic. So, uh, I don't know how much it made, but I'm going to find out. At the box office. So again. It, the whole movie basically. Black Christmas. They kept getting prank calls. Over and over. As a group of sorority sisters. Kept receiving threatening phone calls. From a stalker. And a deranged uh, killer. During the Christmas season. The movie only costed. My God, only 620000 That's pretty damn low for the 70s. Didn't have much. That's a lot of money, but not for movies. That's a low budget in my opinion. So uh, 620000 it cost. And the box office was $4.1 it made. Holy fuck. I didn't know it made that much. That's a lot of damn money at the box office. So Black Christmas was a huge uh, success at the box office. I didn't think it made that much, to be honest. And, no, I'll be back in a second. Let me take this off. So again, Black Christmas costed 620000 made $4.1 million in 1970. When was it released? October 11th, 74. And it's a cult classic. I'm sure it makes still makes a lot of damn money. Like people buying a DVD or Blu-ray or something. Or if it's on a streaming service. They'd probably still make money on Black Christmas. Number 8. Of my top 10 holiday and holiday horror movies. Number 8 is... Gremlins, 19, I, I think the year's 83, Gremlins was out. <coughs> I don't know the year by heart, but uh, I'm, I'm going to get it. In 1983, I believe. So my number eight holiday movie, number eight, is Gremlins. Came out on uh, June 8th, 1984. The budget was a lot of damn money. $11 million for the budget of Gremlins, but it made $212 million. That's a hell of a profit. It's a classic. Gremlins is great. It's a fucking classic. It's a great holiday movie. I mean, probably should not be shown to young kids. Unless, I don't know, maybe... I don't know, maybe six-year-olds could see it. Or nine-year-olds. I don't know. I don't have kids. I don't care about kids. I think I saw it at like age five or six. And I loved it. I even had Gremlins uh, toys. Gizmo. I had a little gizmo. Like a uh, stuffed animal gizmo. with, And I put him in a, the little Gremlins car. I think it was a pink uh, 
Corvette or something. I don't remember. Or a white Corvette. But I did have the little gizmo uh, stuffed animal at one point when I was a kid. So that made a hell of a profit. Did Gremlins. That is my number eight movie. Came out in 1984. But it was shot, I think, in 83. Let me uh, see here. It's a comedy horror movie, actually, is Gremlins. Uh, I don't really see it as horror. I know that Gremlins can look scary, but I guess it's horror. I don't know. It's a good movie, though. Great movie. Great, great, iconic, cult, classic. Gremlins. Also, uh, what was good about Gremlins? You had the smoking hot. And Gremlins was uh, the story. The whole movie is like perfect, in my opinion. It, it's great how it was put together. The uh, What's also good about uh, Gremlins is Phoebe Cates. She's in it, and holy fuck, she's smoking hot. She was in her prime my God, what a gorgeous woman Phoebe Cates was. Smoking hot woman. Uh, she she was pretty big in the 80s. She was in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Where uh, she took her top off. She was in other movies too. But uh, Phoebe Cates in Gremlins, in my opinion, just made it better. Because my God, was she good looking to look at. And the rest of the cast also did very good. So uh, Gremlins is my number eight holiday movie. Number seven. This uh, was a comedy holiday movie. Very funny, I thought. I believe it's rated R. And I'm trying to figure out the name. I am getting it confused with uh, some other movie, but... Here, here's the name of it. Number seven of my top ten holiday and holiday horror movies. Number seven is the 2016 rated R comedy Office. Not Christmas. Office Christmas Party. So Office Christmas Party came out in 2016, I think. And I thought it was funny as hell. Jason Bateman's in it. The guy's great in it. Um, Olivia Munn, very hot. She's in it. And uh, Jennifer Aniston's in it. And she's pretty damn still hot too. So the budget was uh, 40. The release date was December 9th, uh, 2016 for Office. Christmas party also Kate McKinnon's in it from SNL Vanessa Bayer from SNL they're, they're funny and good in it too release date December 9th 2016 the budget is off 45 million office Christmas party made 114 million point five million so big success I thought it's funny as hell really good uh, Christmas movie if you like Christmas comedy movies. So uh, number seven is Office Christmas Party from 2016. Number six. Funny as hell. Another comedy. Holiday movie. Friday. Not Friday. Uh, next uh, Friday. Friday was the first Friday. Next uh, Friday. I saw it. I actually saw it in the theaters with uh, two friends of mine. <coughs> so I believe it came out in 2002 or 03. I think. But we're going to find out. 2000. Uh, it wasn't next Friday. Maybe it was Friday after next. Friday after next, I think, was a holiday Friday. Let me go back here. Uh, 
because I know for damn sure I didn't see uh, the holiday Friday. I know I didn't see it in the year 2000. So let's hope this is right. Friday after next. Yes, it is. It came out in uh, 2002. That's when I saw it. So uh, Friday after next is my number six holiday movie. Favorite holiday movie was released November 22nd, <coughs> 2002. Had a budget of $10 million, Made uh, $33.5 million at the box office. So Friday movies were usually pretty damn funny. Friday after next, very funny. They have like a holiday Christmas party. Some burglar steals their gifts, I believe. And they are looking for me. I think he's dressed as Santa. <coughs> I apologize for coughing. I've had like a cold. So number six, Friday after next. I thought it was really good and funny. Number five, now we get to a horror. A horror holiday movie number five, Silent Night, Deadly Night. Really good. Pretty damn disturbing, though, uh, to see the killer Santa Claus when Billy's a little kid. He sees a Santa kill his mother and rip her top off and I think kill his uh, dad, too. So, <coughs> Silent Night, Deadly Night. When did it come out? I think it was 80-something, 80 84. I don't know. I'm going to find out the year. So Silent Night, Deadly Night. Let's see when it came out here. Oh my god, I, they made a Silent Night, Deadly Night 3? I know they made it too. I have yet to watch Part 2, but I do have it. I can't believe they made a Part 3, but uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night came out in... 1984, that's a damn long time ago, I thought it was like 85 or 86, release date was November 9th, 84, had a budget of 750,000, and at the box office it made 2.5 million, that's not a great profit, but it's a profit, and since then it's a cult classic, and Horror fans love it, and I'm sure it makes a lot of money still. So the story is uh, basically a young kid named Billy who suffers from post-traumatic stress over witnessing his parents being killed on Christmas Eve by a guy that is dressed as Santa. Yes, that fuck you up big time if that happened. You would need therapy for like decades. And then uh, he goes to... There's no parents. So he ends up going to an abusive uh, Catholic orphanage as an, and as an adult. And then he just... The Christmas holiday leads him to have a breakdown and he goes nuts. And I don't blame him. That shit would affect you as a kid if you saw Santa kill your parents. I'm not saying murder's right. Of course, it's not in real life. Never kill somebody, even if you're nuts and stressed out. And you hate the holidays. Don't go fucking AWOL and start fucking killing people like a sickle. So anyways, came out in 84... Made 2.5 million, and it's a classic horror holiday movie. Silent Night, Deadly Night is my number five, number four. This shit was great. This movie is great. It's a comedy, 
holiday comedy. Bad Santa is my number four. That shit was hilarious. Billy Bob Thornton was Bad Santa. Uh, Christina H Hendricks is in it. I forget which part, but holy fuck, she's hot. Uh, Lauren Graham's in it. I think she's on a show. I don't know what show. Gossip Girl or something like that. I don't remember the name of the damn show she's in. The little fat kid was in it. He was hilarious. And he was really stupid in it. Uh, the late great John Ritter. He was in it. That guy's a great actor. The uh, Midget is in it. The famous actor. Uh, Tony Cox. He's a midget. He plays an elf. The late great Bernie Mac. He's in it. He was damn good in it. So that, I think Bad Santa made a lot of money, I believe. I don't know the amount. I'm about to find out. I think Bad Santa's on uh, Amazon right now, Prime, if you want to watch it or rent it. So let's get to what it made at the box office. So Bad Santa... Again, just like uh, Friday After Next, I saw it in the theaters, Bad Santa. I saw it in the theaters with friends. It was released. Look at this poster. It's already funny. You can tell. Uh, if you never saw Bad Santa, if you weren't alive to see it, well, I don't know. If you weren't alive, you, were like, you should be like 20 or 19 by now. But watch Bad Santa if you never saw it. It is hilarious. Look at this poster. He doesn't care if you're naughty or nice. That's hilarious. Bernie Mac, Bad Santa, and a, and a midget, and a fat kid. Hilarious already. So uh, it came out, release date, 2000, I'm going to guess 2002, I think. 2003. So Bad Santa was released November 26, 2003. Budget was 23 million. Box office Bad Santa made 76.5 million. <laughs> really funny. Maybe you're not into uh, rated R comedies. I don't know, but I am, and it was hilarious. Bad Santa's great. Number four, Bad Santa. Number three, this has had to make a ton of money ever since it was released 31 years ago. It probably still makes a lot of money. What am I talking about? My number three holiday movie is Home Alone, 1990. John Candy's in it. A lot of people I never heard of in it, but uh, yeah. Macaulay Culkin, of course, is a star. His uh, mother's also a pretty good actress. So Home Alone, 1990 comedy. Came out, was released in, uh, released November 16th, 1990. Had a budget of 18 million. That seems way too high, but okay for that movie had a budget of 18 million at the box office holy fuck it made 476.7 million dollars did home alone that's a lot of damn profit a lot of profit made our macaulay Culkin a fucking major big star the guy was a kid actor but he was pretty damn good as a kid actor. He did uh, Richie Rich after that. That was pretty good. I saw as a kid. He was in uh, The Good Son. He was in uh, My Girl. So the guy's in a lot of hits. Well, recently Macaulay Culkin. For horror fans. The guy was just in American Horror Story. Double feature. He was in there. So uh, yeah. Legendary. 
Home Alone is fucking iconic and legendary. During the holidays, you gotta watch it. And it was directed uh, by Chris Columbus. I don't know who the hell that guy is, but it was written and produced by John Hughes. That guy directed a ton of hit movies in the 80s. I don't know how many, but a lot. I think a lot. A lot of Molly Ringwall movies, I think he directed. He also directed Ferris Bueller's Day Off and other hits. Um, Breakfast Club, maybe. John Hughes, I'm not sure. But Home Alone is my number three. And my God, out of all these movies, that made the biggest profit so far at the box office. Number two. Number two, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. National Lampoon's... Uh, I'm trying to spell it out here. So, 1989, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation is my number uh, two. Had a great cast. Chevy Chase, the his wife Beverly D'Angelo, uh, Randy Quaid. That guy has gone nuts in the head. He's an old man now, but the guy's nuts. He's like a conspiracy theorist. And uh, other people are in this too. So my number two. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Great holiday movie. Iconic. Legendary. Epic. It's a cult classic. You gotta watch it during the holidays. It was released December 1st, 1989. It's uh, currently on HBO Max if you want to watch it. I also have it on DVD. So, December 1st, 89, it was released. It had a budget of $25 million. At the box office, it made $73.3 million. I'm sure it has made a lot more in, like, uh, video sales and DVD sales. And it's uh, a part of HBO Max. It's on their streaming service because it's a Warner Brothers movie. And HBO owns Warner Brothers, I believe. So Chris Miss uh, National Lampoon's Chris Miss Vacations, my number two, my number one favorite best holiday movie in my opinion. It's a classic. It's iconic. You gotta watch it before Christmas or on Thanksgiving or on Christmas. My number one favorite and best holiday movie, It's a Wonderful Life. It's a Wonderful Life. Great cast. And it was released. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was released in like 56 or 7, but it was released in the late 40s. December 20th, 1946. It's a Wonderful Life was released. Uh, James Stewart, Donna Reed, damn, she looks pretty damn good in it too. Very attractive woman, Donna Reed was. There's others in it I really never heard of, but, you know, my God, it's a great story. It's a long movie, very long, but it's great. It's not boring at all. It's a long watch, but it's worth it. Great story. Uh, what always uh, cracks me up is uh, when they're at the dance, like dance party, whatever the hell it's called, and they're all dressed up, and they're dancing on top of a pool, and the floor opens. That is classic. That always cracks me up. That's a great scene. Number one, It's a Wonderful Life, 1946. Had a budget of three point. Uh, three point one eight million, and at the box office, it was not a big hit. It only made three point three million. So, uh, 
but my god, it is, it's just, it's a classic now. At the time, it was not a classic. And it was not well received, but it is now. So I'm trying to read some stuff about it. In 1990, It's a Wonderful Life was deemed uh, critically historical by the United States uh, Library of Congress. And it was uh, preserved in their National Film Registry. In 2002, Channel 4 in the United Kingdom ranked It's a Wonderful Life as the seventh greatest film ever made in their 100 Greatest of Films poll. I'm sure it's won a lot of awards, uh, not, not when it came out, but way after. Again, it's a beloved holiday classic my number one favorite holiday movie and the best in my opinion it's a wonderful life just about the perfect damn movie and a great story now i'm gonna mention a few other holiday movies and horror that i enjoyed but they didn't make my top 10 here are some mentions um christmas evil 1980 I believe Christmas Evil. If you like horror, you should like Christmas Evil. I think it was 1980. I'm not sure. So a Christmas Evil came out in, I believe, 1980. Look at this posters. Uh, hilarious. First came Halloween. Then Friday the 13th, and now this Christmas, you better believe in Santa or he'll slay you. Christmas Evil poster. That's uh, hilarious. I'm glad I didn't see this as a kid. Because I probably would have been a fucking, would have hated Santa and been afraid of him. I didn't see any holiday horror movies when I was a kid at all the only horror I got to see really and watch was uh, Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th and those movies made me a fucking fan of horror but uh, Christmas Evil was released November 7th 1990 in Pittsburgh I don't know if it was released anywhere else I Doubt it because the distribution was not good. So uh, the budget was eight hundred fifty thousand, and I have no clue how much it made. But Christmas Evil's original title, which they used, was "You Better Watch Out." It was also known as "Terror in Toyland," but. It's uh, really fucking Christmas Evil. Look it up. It's 1980's Christmas Evil. Other mentions are the Santa Claus. 1993, I believe. Tim Allen was the Santa Claus. It came out in 94, maybe. It is a kid's movie, but it's also a holiday movie, and I was a kid at the time, so I enjoyed it. I was like 10 or 11, I think. So, the it came out in November 11th, 94. Had a budget of uh, $22 million. The Santa Claus made $189.8 million. Big success. They did the Santa Claus 2 and the Santa Claus 3. Way too many Santa Clauses, but they kept making sequels. They'll probably come out, they'll probably fucking try to remake that pretty soon, or already did, I don't know. So also, uh, I'm going to mention Silent Night, Deadly Night 2. 
And I'm going to mention, I don't know of any other holiday horror movies, really. I would have to look up a l long list. And that would be pointless because those movies I didn't see. These mentions, I saw them. So, uh, final mention, Silent Night 2012 Horror. Had a lot of great kills in it. I believe, a lot of great kills. Not, I believe, it does have a lot of great fucking kills. If you saw it. So, let's see if the, it made any money at the box office. Maybe it was only released on DVD, I don't know. Here's a poster if you want to know. Uh, Malcolm McDonald is in it. Jamie King. Here's Silent Night. He knows. He knows who's been naughty. He is a flamethrower. So I just watched this like two, three weeks ago. I really enjoyed it. Silent Night. I, it might be a remake. I'm not sure. Might be a remake of Silent Night, Deadly Night. I don't know, but it's called Silent Night. So it could be a remake. But it had a different story. And I enjoyed it. I guess it's uh, a remake. It's the sixth installment. I didn't know this. It's the sixth installment of the Silent Night, Deadly Night franchise. The film was given limited release and was released on DVD and Blu-ray December 4th, 2012. Box office, it only made 114000 But it was limited box office. I'm sure it probably made more than that in rentals and DVD sales. We'll say one thing that's uh, good about this movie, Silent Night, from 2012, Jamie King is in it. I always thought she was uh, super attractive. I'm a big fan of her and she's sexy as hell. I think she's still acting, but she still looks damn good. She's uh, 42 years old, Jamie King. She was also in a remake of, uh, I believe, uh, Mother's Day. The... 80s horror Mother's Day. Let's see here. Yeah, 2010, she was in Mother's Day. That's a remake of the 80s uh, movie Mother's Day. I, it says it must have been limited uh, release because it only made 862000 at the box office. Did Mother's Day, but that's not a holiday movie. I guess if you want to count Mother's Day as a holiday, but that's not a holiday. I guess it is, but not the Christmas holiday. That's my point. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed this top 10 of my best favorite top 10 holiday movies and holiday horror. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, watch, go back if you missed the beginning. My number 10 was... Number 10 was uh, Scrooge, 1988, Bill Murray, and number one, It's a Wonderful Life. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Bye for now.